Hey, look at that, YouTube. We're gonna get you all fixed up here. I just need to situate you. And then we're gonna start this party. Is this a menopause symptom? Technical problems? We're gonna blame it on that. I wouldn't have considered myself menopausal until just about now. And now, let's see. I'm gonna have to scooch back because I'm on two cameras. And we're gonna see if I can do this to accommodate both of you guys. Very bad connection, it says. Fabulous. Okay. One second. Hey, Aiden. This is what could be described as a technical nightmare. Let's flip you this way. Orientation of the clock to rotate device back. It just keeps getting worse. Uh, all right, sorry you guys, I'm like so flustered now and don't know where to put my second camera because we're having serious problems. So let me get you situated. Man, I'm super annoyed at this point. I just want everybody to be happy. I hate technical problems because they're so distracting to both parties. I'm never going to be able to make, yeah, thank you, Linda. You're so sweet. I'm never going to be able to make eye contact with both of my audiences now because I've got my notes pulled up because I get nervous. I've got Zoom on the computer and YouTube now on my phone. So hi, YouTube. Hello, Zoom. Thank you so much. Um, this is really going to bother me because I really want to feel like I'm making eye contact with you guys, with everyone. You should see what I'm doing. I have a vintage chocolate box set up that I'm trying to put you on. I'm not nervous, Courtney, at this point. I'm just totally annoyed because this is my class for the week and I don't have anywhere to put my phone. What can I set you guys on? This is so stupid and forever documented on YouTube. Yay, that's great. Okay, you're just gonna go down here. You're gonna have to deal. I love you, but I'm not gonna be able to look at you that much. <laughs> Take a breath, woman. Okay, so I love this topic of menopause because it's actually one of the things that I get asked about the most for uh, essential oils and um, I feel like it's this area where women really, really, really need support. So I have my notes because when I love a topic, I can tend to get a little chatty and I won't be able to comment in the comment box um, just because I'd like to keep this moving. And I know for those of you on the East Coast, uh, we are an hour behind, so it's late for you. So I wanna welcome those of you that are watching on Zoom and a few hours ago, I decided, you know, what the heck, let's put this on YouTube because I know this is an area where people need major support. So if you're watching this on YouTube and I just made a fool of myself for the last seven minutes and you're like, I'm out, it's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. I know most of you are here for French and European inspired lifestyle ideas. But if this is something you would like support with, then I invite you to stay um, again, if it's not your thing, you're not going to hurt my feelings. But what I'd love for you to do is um, maybe shoot, you, shoot me your email address at some time and I will send you some recipes and some further ideas on support in this area. So yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, essential oils are part of a holistic Grandma needs to get to bed. I bet you do, girl. It's late now. Um, they're part of a holistic approach to health, one that's free of side effects on your body. But I want to stress that lifestyle is very, very important. And um, you're not going to be able to see like raging results if the rest of your lifestyle stays the same. So you're going to want to be able to, you're going to want to put in the work and make the changes. And that's kind of what we're talking about tonight. And these are really, really simple things that 
I'm going to be speaking about just some oils, some oil infused products. I'm not talking about um, growing wheatgrass on your kitchen counter. It's a joke I often make, but very simple things, making healthier lifestyle choices, getting more sleep. Don't drink pop, okay? If you're struggling with a menopausal symptoms, soda, carbonated things are not going to help that kind of thing. Just making wise, wise choices. Essential oils are everywhere, and I'm assuming that most of you know that they are the compounds that come from the stem, the root, the bark, the flowers and leaves of plants. And I'm, my assumption is that you're not here, you wouldn't be watching to be convinced that they work. Um, you're curious. Possibly you're already using oils and you'd like to maximize your results. Education is very near and dear to my heart. I think we've all been on social media long enough to see that essential oils can be done very, very badly. And it is my desire to have, to show you, um, let's just agree to do them with class and to be a savvy, educated user. So what I'd like to do this evening is start with first why doTERRA and why I'm specifically sitting here today sharing with you about essential oils and pardon my dual camera eye contact, but I do promise to keep it pithy and then we'll move right on to how they can help you with your menopausal symptoms and help support you at this time in your life. Um, and I just have to say like, for the record, could they have given this phase, this chapter of our lives, a worse name, just menopause. I mean, it is a horrible, it, it sounds horrible. It already sounds horrible, just right out of the gate. So I am a, this is bothering me so much. I am a freelance writer, designer, stylist by trade. I didn't wake up one morning deciding that I wanted to get into network marketing, but, um, my health was in a bad way. I was struggling with a really annoying neurological condition and a postpartum uh, thyroid issue. A friend introduced me to oils. Hi, busy little house. And they completely changed my life. So you know how I feel about joie de vivre and creating a beautiful life. Uh, to be frank, you can't do that if you feel like garbage um, and you're a hormonal hot mess. So I felt that I could be really comfortable. I felt that I was really comfortable sharing them with my friends and family and my social media friends so that they could experience this health that I was experiencing so that they could go out and do their gardening and their antiquing and their junking and their painting and their baking and their mothering. And it's really as simple as that. Now, if you're watching or uh, following Parisian Farm Girl, then I'm assuming that there are many ways that you and I are like-minded. There are a ton of garbage oil companies out there. Um, I actually kind of went off on a little rant last month on those, but I just would like to start really, really quick and give you a few ideas on why doTERRA, and then we'll take off from there. So as a Parisian Farm Girl follower, I'm my assumption is that sustainable agriculture is important to you where you're, hello, Dolly. Now that song is going to be in my head all evening. <laughs> um, um, where your food and products come from matter to you. You care about how people are treated in the process of you getting those products, your food, your clothing, things that you use every day. What happens behind the scenes uh, matters to you. So I would like you to know that essential oils are uh, often they're harvested in often very impoverished countries and in these areas and in this uh, market exploitation is very high and this is where doTERRA steps in doTERRA employs a method called co-impact sourcing and it starts with the idea um, that these plants should be grown in their native habitat so right for my fellow foodies just like wine coffee chocolate cheese it matters where your oils are grown. It affects their efficacy. It affects their potency. Um, the idea that these oils are grown in, their, grown in their native habitat. I always tell people, I'm like, look, I have this, I have a huge garden. I could grow out 
go out and grow lavender and then I could distill lavender oil in my garage. But the chemical compounds in my lavender grown here in northern Wisconsin are not going to be as potent and as effective as the uh, chemical compounds of an oil grown where lavender grows primo, which is in Bulgaria and um, France. So um, I love that idea of, of using an oil that is at its peak. It's grown in its most ideal conditions. Uh, doTERRA um, pays their farmers in advance, which I, I think is very important. Small farm farmers have a place in my heart. They go into these communities, they dig wells, they build schools, they educate on the sex trade, which can be rampant in these areas. And um, on a side note, you will love to know Hello everyone, that doTERRA has partnered with Project Underground Railroad in an effort to rescue these children from the sex trade. It is a beautiful thing that this company is doing. And for those of you that are on YouTube and for my Zoom watchers that are watching this evening, you can go to YouTube and check out Co-Impact Sourcing doTERRA and you'll get a real feel for the philanthropic, kind of the behind the scenes nature of what this company is doing. Now that's very important to us morally now, but when it comes to the product that we're using, we want to use the very best product that we can. So in doTERRA paying that farmer in advance, um, I grew up in an agricultural family. So my grandpa was always watching the markets. You know, what are the bean prices today? What are the corn prices today? doTERRA is paying the farmers in advance. And what that means very simply is that when that orange is hanging on the tree, and the market prices are such today for those oranges, doTERRA has said to the farmer, leave it there until it's optimum growing or it's optimum harvest time. You know, we want to have those chemical compounds be totally on point and totally ideal. It is awesome, back to earth living. It's incredible. So it takes the pressure off the farmer. He's able to provide for his family in the meantime, despite the fluctuations in the local market. And it's amazing for us because we get a top-notch product. Testing for doTERRA is rigorous. I won't belabor the point. You can do tons of research yourself on the um, APRC, Aromatic Plant Research Center, and what they say about doTERRA. And the, the fact is essential oils are easily, easily tampered with. There are perfumers and professionals out there that can go in and mimic these chemical compounds. Um, and with doTERRA, we have a, a website called source to you So you can take the batch number. It's just like the concept of getting raw milk so you know where your dairy comes from. Um, you can take the batch number on the bottom of this bottle and type it in at source to you and you can see the, C, uh, the GCMS results. doTERRA is completely transparent with their results. So that kind of gives you an idea of why doTERRA? And I just say that because I feel like people are very cognizant of oils these days. Like you're not like, what's essential oils? What are those? They're everywhere. They're on the end cap at TJ Maxx. They're at Walmart. They're at the feed store. They're everywhere. But I do really like to establish that baseline for why doTERRA. And the more you look into this company and their integrity and what they're doing, it's very clear why they are the number one oil company in the world. But let's talk about you. Thank you. It is outstanding, Carla. And let's talk about menopause. So my heart for you tonight is for you to just know and rest in peace that, um, rest in peace. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying. Have peace in the fact that um, menopause is a normal part of life. Hello, hello, Elva from Illinois. It's a normal process. And I do think that we treat it like something that needs to be battled when it is actually a natural biological process and really it's not a problem to solve. Menopause is the permanent end of menstruation and fertility. It officially, they say it officially begins 12 months after your last cycle, but the transition can begin as early as your mid thirties. Um, for most people, it's, it's beginning in their forties and fifties. Um, for some, like someone I, I um, learned about today, menopause is coming early due to health conditions, uh, a history of eating disorders, cancer treatments. The person I was um, introduced to today 
uh, was thrust into menopause very early in her early 30s because of leukemia treatment. Um, and as we've all probably heard of a girlfriend or two, it can be brought on by the removal of ovaries as well. So there's really um, many factors that determine when you start this phase of your life. And I know I was, you know, kind of making the jokes all week, like pre, peri, post, essential oils have you covered. But um, pre-menopause is that time be before you're starting those symptoms. Perimenopause um, occurs before menopause. And then post-menopause is officially a year after your last cycle. Um, hold on, I'm totally off my notes here. <laughs> um, so while it does conclude a woman's time of being fertile, it does, inc- it does conclude a very, um, for many of us, a very beautiful chapter of our life. We can have a vibrant life. We can have a vibrant and vital sex life in through our 40s and our 50s and beyond. We can feel great. We don't have to be a hormonal hot mess. Um, That being said, we know that there's a hormonal shift during this time that leads to mood swings and hot flashes and insomnia. Um, We've all seen, we've seen what hormones can do, right? Right. Okay. Our just fun work. Actually, I'm going to touch on all those things here in just a little bit. Um, We've seen what, you know, hormones can do to our preteen daughters. They can start making these huge emotional changes. Um, Some of us have experienced the big um, hormone changes of pregnancy and then the subsequent aftershock of delivery where we have this postpartum crashing and just regulating of hormones for sometimes up to a year, getting them back to normal. And I think that it's um, that we often forget as women what a role hormones play in our life. They're kind of like considered this this bad thing or or maybe this maybe imaginary thing. And I think we really do need to acknowledge and give them their rightful place and learn how to support our bodies while these hormones are making all these incredible changes. So I have this list here. I mean, I'm going to revert to my notes for this list. Um... Shay from the Elliott Homestead is like, when are you going live? I want to watch you. I should let her know here. (laughs) Um, We have this list of hot flashes, flushes, night sweats, cold flashes, that kind of clammy feeling, irregular heartbeat, irritability, mood swings, sudden tears, not guilty. Um, trouble sleeping through the night, irregular periods, shorter periods, lighter periods, heavier periods, longer periods, phantom periods, loss of libido, um, vaginal dryness, crashing fatigue, anxiety, feeling, oh, that's fantastic. Oh, see, there's like three out of 10, Carla. I just read today, three out of 10 don't even feel hot flashes. So lucky you. Um, Feelings of dread or apprehension, difficulty concentrating, memory loss, itchy skin, achy joints, increased tension, breast tenderness, you name it. The list goes on and on. Aller- increase in allergies, gum problems, gum bleeding, osteoporosis, a change in fingernails. So I think we've about covered it, even though the list is actually much longer, but I won't bore you by reading it because I know you've felt the feelings. Um, so it's my desire not to replace your hormones. Um, but to support them. I think there's a time and a place for hormone therapy for sure with your physician, Um, but I do think it's like much of our healthcare where maybe we ring that bell a little bit too soon before addressing uh, natural alternatives. So hormone therapy can be very, very effective in relieving hot flashes and the like, but it the research just does show that the long term usage of it does increase a risk for breast cancer and stroke and blood clots and other health issues, and so when we're looking at the numbers, the numbers show that like menopause can last from seven to about eleven years. That's a long time for me personally, and again, you're going to make your own health decisions, but that's a long time for me personally to be um to be on something that has that kind of risk 
involved. So that is something I really do appreciate about essential oils and why there's something I often turn to is because they are, um, there's not a risk of dependency when you know, you're know you looking at other issues where dependency could come about with pharmaceutical. And um, there's not that, that risk of side effects. So for those of you that have um, seen me teach before, do we have to wait till 60 to feel great? Absolutely not. You know my platform is joie de vivre. Absolutely not. You do not have to wait till 60 to feel great. That's why I do this business because I want you to go have your energy to do your thing, to go do all your creative hobbies. And Angie developed blood clots in her legs. Oh my heaven. See? Okay. So if you've seen me teach before, um, so yes, one of my hashtags on social media is joie de vivre because I'm very passionate about having a joy for life, but that is really difficult when you don't feel well. And I have another one and it is, but first LLV. So if you've seen me teach before, you know that I'm really adamant about creating a baseline for your health and for me and for, um, for me and for many of my customers, that begins with lifelong vitality. So you've seen it on my skincare videos. You've seen it on some of my other classes, Hot Mess Express and things. Um, I'm actually going to show you since my camera is in such a wonky position on my desk now. You can see it. This is doTERRA's um, Lifelong vital Vitality Pack. And it's a three-pack of supplements that are full of bioavailable whole food essential vitamins and minerals. They're fully chelated, which means that you won't be excreting them. And we've all seen the neon yellow ramifications of cheap supplements. That's as tastefully as I'm going to put it. But they are infused with key essential oils and uh, to increase efficacy and to keep your tummy calm if you're like me and you can't take supplements without getting sick. The Lifelong Vitality Pack has a 30-day uh, less pain, more energy promise. So here's why um, I'm so adamant about these, especially in this kind of situation. You know, when you're looking at menopause and this huge variety of symptoms, having that baseline for your health is going to be, um, hmm, Lucy, okay. Having that baseline for your health is going to be really important. So they are wonderful for increasing general wellness and vitality, antioxidant and DNA protection, energy metabolism, bone health, which is important. We'll learn why immune function, stress management, hot flashes can um, be exas exacerbated, exasperated, exacerbated by, uh, by additional stress, cardiovascular health, healthy skin and nails, eye, brain, nervous system health, liver function. They're very gentle on the stomach, respiratory health. And uh, this is something that's very important for me. And I'm assuming for some of you, they do not contain genetically modified material and they're dairy free. So I'm often asked just with the show with Everyday Chateau and all we're doing around here, what's your like secret for all your energy? This is it. Like I, Joel and I swear by lifelong vitality, bottom line, one day, a few weeks from now, you'll wake up and you'll go, I feel really good. And you'll start putting two and two together that it's, it's your lifelong vitality. Now, during um, the entire process of menopause, from perimenopause to postmenopause, this is, like I said, a time that averages from about seven years and can go all the way to 11. Estrogen is dropping this whole time. And this drop can, oh, let's see. Um, Natalie, do you have a link for these gals? I wonder if I can help them out here. Um, let's see here. I have a link for you guys of everything we're going to talk about tonight. Let me see if I can do this really quick. I'm not sure if my mod is here this evening now that we had to like, oh, that's a really great freeze frame I've got going on on YouTube. That's very flattering. Fabulous. Hi, chat. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm on my computer tossing in a link here. And then we'll go back to this. Um, there we go. So this drop in estrogen can create a real um, depletion of calcium in the bones. And this is why I'm always encouraging women, like you have to stop drinking soda. 
because the carbonation is also leaching calcium from your bones. So this is not the time in your life when you want to be sipping on a Diet Coke, okay? Find something else. Um, but this long-term period of our time, of period of time for our bones to be experiencing this dis, dis, uh, depletion of calcium can be really, really bad. So doTERRA has something called a bone nutrient complex. And yes, yeah, stress can bring on hot flashes back to earth. Absolutely. It can make them worse and bring them on a little bit earlier. But doTERRA has something for us gals called a bone nutrient complex. And it provides 100% of the recommended daily uh, calcium and magnesium. Supports healthy bones for overall health throughout your lifetime. So this is something that you gals that are watching in your late 20s, 30s, like go ahead and start on it now. It has a proprietary formula of the highest bone, highest quality bone nutrients in bioavailable forms. Now I've said that word bioavailable a couple times. And what that means for you, the word bio, bioavailable for you means that when you're taking these supplements that are bioavailable, your body is recognizing them as food. Oh, here, I can, I can work with that. Your body's like, here comes some food. I can metabolize that. I can send that out into the body to do what it needs to do. It is not a chemical substance. It's not a foreign substance for your body. The bone nutrient complex contains vitamin D2 and D3 to help bones, to help you, to help bones absorb the calcium. So this is a huge problem. Um, I experienced this when I was, hi Patty, Life on Lemon Lane. Patty is um, on my doTERRA team. She's going to help me answer your questions if I need help. Um, I'd make you a mod, but I'm I'm in over my head. <laughs> so, um, but I experienced this when I was anemic. I hemorrhaged after my sixth baby. And this was something that I did a lot of research about because I was learning that you know, I can take all this iron that I want. I can eat as many raw steaks as I want, take all these iron supplements. But if my body is not absorbing the iron, it's not going to do me any good. So I thought I actually used cinnamon oil, a drop of cinnamon oil in my water to help me absorb the iron and really rebounded from that hemorrhaging um, much faster than my midwife expected. So this situation where we might be taking in nutrients, but our bodies can't absorb them is really prevalent so the vitamin D2 and D3 in this bone nutrient complex will help your bones absorb that calcium. And again, just like the GMO, this product is made with sodium laurel free, sodium laurel sulfate free vegetable capsules. I missed that last comment. I'm not going to be able to pull it up. Um, uh, another something that I would suggest is called the phytoestrogen complex. And again, this is, you know, when we've got this period of our life where our estrogen is just depleting and depleting and depleting. And we're ha because of that, we're having these symptoms, the hot flashes, the fatigue, the vaginal pain. Um, the phytoestrogen complex has black cohosh in it, which has been known for years to treat um, hormone-related issues. It also has soy isoflavins. So, um, you know, something that I discourage with, um, Joel and the, the, the boys in the family is a very diet that, a diet that has a lot of, um, ultra pasteurized products because that ultra pasteurization can mimic estrogen in a man, man's body. We've all, um, Okay, man boobs, all right, you got it. Um, but for us gals, as we're going through this situation, these soy isoflavins can actually help us sort of balance that out and sort of come off that estrogen de depletion a little bit more gently. Um, Dongkui is a, an herb that has been used for a long time in Chinese medicine, and they've used it to help women, including uh, treating menopausal issues. So we've got the lifelong vitality, I would suggest the bone nutrient complex and the, um, the phyto, the phytoestrogen complex. Now let's talk about some oils. And again, I'm seeing like these comments pop up and I apologize that I can't 
respond to all of them, but I do want you to have peace that your body is doing what it's supposed to be doing during this time. It's okay, but you do want to support it. Much of our modern lifestyle, much of our modern diet does not support um, our body, our bodies. Oops, I got to admit somebody here. Um, during these very special times. So, excuse me, I have something in my eye. Let's talk about some essential oils that are going to be really practical and really helpful for you to use. Let's start with, um, I think I'm going to kind of go back and forth between peppermint and um, peppermint and clary calm. So peppermint is an individual oil, excuse me, and clary calm is a proprietary blend of hormone supporting oils. We actually call it new wife in a bottle for those of you here, I'll show you up close. <laughs> For those of you with teenage daughters, or maybe you're not menopausal yet, this is just like an all round, like have this in the house if there's women in the house, okay? Better late than never. Margaret, if you're just joining us, you can definitely watch the replay because this will be here. Clary Calm is a rollerball, and if you're brand, brand new to even oil packaging, this is what it looks like. It has a nice cooling stainless steel, or roll, stainless steel roller ball and you can rub this right over your belly right over the uterus if you no longer have your uterus due to a hysterectomy you can still use this but it provides a soothing and calming effect during a woman's menstrual cycle has a calming aroma that helps soothe uh, heightened emotions and really the reason we call it new wife in a bottle is because it helps balance the mood over the month. It says I have a very bad connection. I'm hoping that's not affecting this. Some of the uh, essential oils in this roller ball are clary sage flower, which is phenomenal for women's issues, lavender flower, bergamot, Roman chamomile, lang lang, which we'll talk about in a second, cedar wood, and uh, about six more. So I've seen Women get excellent results using these two oils, actually, Clary Calm and Peppermint, right over the kidney reflexes. I'm just going to kind of show you where that is. Humor me. You're not going to go wrong by you putting them right here, right over these kidney reflexes. You can do that once a day, once or twice a day if you'd like. Peppermint is definitely a must for hot flashes. So, Someone was saying earlier that they were just so blessed to never get hot flashes. Two or three out of 10 don't get them. Most women are going to get hot flashes. Again, this is on account of the huge estrogen changes in their body. Um, there are things that we do that do contribute to these hot flashes. So someone was asking, can stress make them worse? Absolutely, stress, caffeine, alcohol, spicy foods, tight clothing, um, you know, I think about like the whole leggings trend right now, heat, cigarette smoke, peppermint oil has such a cooling effect on the body. So there's a few ways that you can very, very practically use this oil. You can use it over the kidneys with lemon oil. I forgot to mention that lemon oil and clary sage to help regulate body temperatures. But as far as meeting um, an immediate need when you're having a hot flash in the middle of the night, keeping a spray bottle by the side of your bed with a few drops of peppermint and water in that just to mist the body down to help bring a cooling sensation and help give you relief. And also it comes in a roller ball. So I say keep this in your purse because if you're out in public and you're having a hot flash, you know, you're going to like want to bust out the spray bottle, but just take that roller ball and rub it on the back of your neck. And it just brings a great cooling sensation when you do it right on the base of your spine. Peppermint is um, an oil I would, would not be without for hot flashes. Another very um, hot flashes, low libido, dryness. These are the things I hear about all the time. And there's all the other ones, the weight gain, the brain fog, but those are the three that women come to me all the time about. So when we're talking about libido, do I have it right here? Oh, forgive me, I don't. Um, I would recommend Lang Lang. Lang Lang is your quintessential aphrodisiac oil. Um, if you're struggling with libido daily inhalation of this oil, I was gonna show you how to use it, but apparently I forgot it. A couple drops in your hand, rub your palms together, take a deep breath. Um, 
that's going to be very, very effective. Running it in a diffuser on your nightstand um, can be very effective as well. Some people just go ahead and apply it as a perfume. Um, but this is an oil that triggers an emotional response and does connect with those neurological pathways to help increase um, sexual desire. And I know that's a, something that people really, really struggle with during, during menopause. I lost my notes here. Can you excuse me? <laughs> um, you know, while we're supporting our health during the day, right? We're taking supplements, we're applying peppermint, we're nixed, we're cutting down on caffeine, we're cutting down on soda, we're trying to do just practical, small little changes to help support our body during this time. It's imperative that we get a good night's sleep. Uh, when you sleep, this is when your body goes into repair mode. This is when it's distributing those vitamins and minerals. And sleep is vital for healthy emotions. Can you not agree? How many of you have ever been in an argument with, in your, with your spouse and you're like, yeah, I'm too tired. I need to opt out because it's not going to be pretty if, I, if we continue down this path. So let's support our bodies as well and get a good night's sleep. For that, I recommend vetiver. This is one of my favorite oils. A lot of people have never heard of vetiver, vetiver, vetiver before. It is a, um, it's a root crop from Haiti. And what it does is a nervous system calming oil. So it does help you sleep. It helps you fall asleep. It helps you experience a deeper sleep. And this is my favorite key point about this oil. Uh, and this is going to resonate with a lot of you. It calms the 2 a.m. chatter. So not all of us sleep all through the night. We roll over, we get uncomfortable, we have a hot flash, we wake up, brrr, our brain clicks on, we can't go back to sleep. And vetiver helps calm that chatter. I never sleep as well as I do. I wake up so deeply rested when I use vetiver. And it's very, very simple to use. You put a couple drops on the bottom of your feet. So those good, good nights of sleep are going to support us. And um, thank you for the thumbs up. And they are going to help us carry on during the day and help us um, control our mood swings as well. Now, right, my mind, oh yeah, I'm, my mind goes crazy. It's the creative in me. I'm, you know, I'm designing houses. I, I can't, like, it's all happening at night. <laughs> um, Mood swings, though, are inevitable. We, we're experiencing such a hormone flux. And I think balance is a phenomenal tool to keep on hand. Balance is a blend of oils that are grounding. So it's very, um, ooh, this one's brand new. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to show you how I use it. I put it right over my heart. It helps me with anxiety. On the bottoms of the feet, uh, you can use it on pulse points. I just, um, I have just found that I, that's how I kind of started using oils on the bottom of your feet. They used, you know, some people say oh, it's because you have bigger pores on the bottom of your feet and it's faster absorbed. That's bunk. Um, it's just an easy place to use your oils. So you can use it on pulse points as well. I just, that's kind of how I started because that's what I learned, even though I subsequently learned that's not necessarily true. Um, but I just find it really comforting give myself a little foot rub rub it in my sheets end up smelling like it and I missed the last few comments gosh how can I do this can I pull these up lavender to sleep is fabulous um lavender for falling asleep and for calming is excellent I've found that it doesn't have that same brain chatter effect as the vetiver so that is a great question do I use anything else in the diffuser? Oh yeah, Alma, girl, you know me. I'm always rocking my diffuser, <laughs> always. Um, okay, I think I gotcha. Uh, so I can hear myself talking. I'm gonna pause myself there and open my notes back up. So balance is an anti, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, an anti-anxiety oil, but it's a calming oil. And when you need to chill, sweetheart, you need to get your balance. I mean, I'm not kidding. You rub this on, take a few deep breaths. 
It's not hocus pocus. You have a, a, an epithelium patch at the top of your sinuses. Vetiver is also a fabulous French perfume. Perfume. You might, yeah, it's uh, Guerlain makes it, right? Green packaging. I can see it in my head. Um, it smells so good. But you have an epithelium patch at the top of your sinuses with little cilia hairs. And the, um, the, the bottom, uh, sorry, reading comments. These little cilia hairs, the molecules of the oils attach to the, the cilia hair. And this is like really, really simply put, they transfer to the brain receptors and they send messages to the brain. So when you're freaking out and you're having a, okay, can somebody mod that comment? <laughs> This is why I need a moderator. Um, when when somebody um, when you when somebody when you get those messages, when your brain look, I'm so thrown off by that. When you get those messages, the the molecules are telling you, telling your brain, it's time to chill out. Sorry, I'm sorry. That comment really distracted me. So, long story short, balance is. Um, what I would turn to, what I do turn to for anxiety, for mood swings, get your sleep, but then know that if you're having a rough day, you can keep it in your purse and just put a few drops on your heart. And within a couple minutes, you're just good. I know I need to add you as a mod, but I can't do it from here. I'd, it'd take me a second. Sorry, Patty. Um, hey, Aiden. Yeah. Can you mod? Uh, give me a minute. Thanks. Um, last but not least, um, I want to talk about DDR prime because I'm trying to be tasteful and discreet, but dryness is something that people reach out to me all the time. Thank you, Patty. Um, yes, we can, we can, we have a, a, a European warehouse, so we can get you oils in France. We can get you them anywhere in the world. Um, dryness is a problem that women are reaching out to me all the time. Thank you so much, Aiden. And for that, I would recommend DDR Prime. Now this is an essential oil, but I actually personally, I'm using, giving you my personal recommendations here. I don't care for the way, way it tastes. It's very spicy. And so I take it in a gel cap. So this is a cellular repair blend, Lemongrass, frankincense, neroli. Neroli oil is uh, the flower to the bitter orange tree. Phenomenal for hormonal issues. Um, I do prefer the soft gel because it doesn't taste good. But those of you struggling with dryness may, may experience excellent results like my customers have. I have, I have women that are very, very pleased um, with the results they're getting from taking DDR Prime. And that's just like one good part of it. DDR Prime is something that I really prefer that all my customers be taking because it is a cellular DNA repair blend. Um, somebody just asked me for aches and pains in gardening. Ironically, we are filming that video tomorrow. I've put up a whole basket of how to use oils in your um, garden for slugs and bugs and ticks and all sorts of nastiness and aches and pains. But I will tell you deep blue rub and Patty, My Life on Lemon Lane, has a beautiful garden. And that's sort of one of the ways she was introduced to doTERRA was from aching gardening hands. She can tell you about Deep Blue Rub. So what does this look like in your daily life, right? You, you maybe are a hot mess. You're like, yeah, maybe you're bar barely just hanging on. Maybe you're like, oh, snap, this just started. I have 10 more years of this. Are you kidding me? So let's talk really quick about what this looks like in your daily life. You've got your lifelong vitality, your three pack that I'm already, um, oh, awesome, this little house that I'm always talking about. You've seen it on my skincare video and stuff. Uh, you have your bone nutrient complex, your phytoestrogen uh, complex, and your DDR prime, okay? These are, these are sitting on your countertop. You're taking them twice a day. That's easy. They're on your countertop twice a day with meals. You'll get so hooked on how they make you feel, you'll never look back. You're rubbing Clary Calm over your belly when you get dressed in the morning and when you go to bed at night and when you sit down on your bed, you're taking the vetiver off your nightstand and you're rubbing it on the bottom of your feet. Boom, a few drops on the bottom of your feet. You're keeping your peppermint oil in a spray bottle. 
diluted with water and not all these, um, I will give you information on this later on, but you know, I don't know off the top of my head, five drops, 10 drops in a cup of water in a little spray bottle. I'm not really picky about ratios like that, but you can spray yourself down when you're having a hot flash and you can use the, um, Patty life, uh, you can use your Lang Lang on your bedside as well. So you've got your peppermint spray bottle and your Lang Lang on your bedside. Maybe your Lang Lang is running a diffuser. Maybe you just take a few deep breaths of it in the evening. You're keeping your peppermint roller ball in your purse for when you're having a hot flash when you're in the line at Costco and your balance in your oil as well, or your balance oil in your purse as well for um, when you're having some emotions and you're you're out of the house so that's really easy right kitchen countertop bedside purse easy peasy so patty's asking about bottom of the feet i thought i answered that but it's just it's just something easy to do i was saying that they i got bad info right when i started that you have like bigger pores on the bottom of your feet and so the oils are easy more easily absorbed that's crazy oils are fat soluble they are absorbed into your bloodstream within minutes and they can go do their thing because they um are they speak the same language that we do you know carbon carbon that's why they work so quickly as opposed to like a pharmaceutical when you're waiting around for an advil to to work there you go. Thank you, Angie. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I love it. That's what I love about the oil community. It's not really like I'm the expert. I'm the support staff. So you and I are locking arms and we're just being healthy and savvy and fabulous together. That's what we're doing. So you know me, I'm all about forward motion. If I'm struggling with something, I want a solution. I'm sorry, Zoom, I keep forgetting to look up to this camera. <laughs> um, but if you're watching on YouTube, I will post a link for you. They are easy to take, Tish. So when I was um, talking at the beginning, I, I just mentioned it really briefly, but they do have what they call tummy tamer oils. So there's fennel, caraway, coriander, peppermint. I cannot take supplements. They make me so ill. It's not pretty. And I can take the lifelong vitality. I have that, um, what's the really bad morning sickness? Thankfully it's, it's three years past now, but with every pregnancy, hyper me, whatever it's called, hyper something. Um, I could not take prenatals. This was the only thing I could take. So yes, uh, shoot, comments are going away. Pull this up. Supplements are safe with adrenal issues. Actually, um, I do have customers using the supplements for adrenal issues, including DDR Prime for that. They are easy to take. Thank you so much, Angie. I'm just um, reviewing these customers here, or these customers, these questions. Awesome. I think we got them all. So I, um, I am going to post a link for you guys. Now, if you're watching this on a replay post, May 31st, 2019, there's going to be different promotions. doTERRA always have different has different promotions. I always have something interesting going on. Um, but I'm going to post this shopping cart link for you guys. My Zoom audience, you're going to get a recording of this with the custom shopping cart in your email. And what thank you. I never know how to say it. Um, what you can do is you can check out this cart and if it's appropriate for you to get it all, get it all. If you think that's a good move, if you want to just pick a few things out of the cart, do that. Again, uh, doTERRA's return policy is phenomenal. I've never had anyone use it. So move forward with confidence, but move forward. Like for the love, do something. You you can support your body this way. This does not have to be a, a horrific time, the butt of jokes. This you can be savvy and empowered and feel great because this is a time in life where you get to really lean into your hobbies and lean into your passions. You're, you might even just feel like you've finally settled into who you are and now you feel terrible. Well, it doesn't have to be like that. Um, as a treat, so this month, if you're watching this current, so through the 31st of May 2019, I know people will see this on YouTube for years to come. Just reach out to me for additional specials. But through this month, um, 
I forgot them. They're over there. They're back there. I am treating you um, to three emotional aromatherapy roller balls with this package. And these are going to come right from me, not from doTERRA. It is a great time of life. Patty, I think you're a phenomenal example of that. I think you radiate joy and health and being comfortable in your own skin. You're such an inspiration. Um, but my treat to you is three emotional aromatherapy balls, which I think aromatherapy balls, <laughs> aromatherapy roller balls, which I think will, um, also really support you because, you know, they're for motivation and passion and peace. And that's going to be sort of my treat for you. Um, and then doTERRA, if you're watching currently, doTERRA has worked it out where you can qualify to get a free month of this lifelong vitality pack next month. So there's all sorts of goodies there. So however I can help you on your journey, however I can help you feel great, um, continue to educate. Like I said, I think essential oils are often done really, really bad. And it's my desire that you feel educated and savvy and confident moving forward. And I want you to, I'm very passionate about this company in particular. Um, once you kind of open that door, you learn, it gives you a lot of peace about your yourself because you get the results you're looking for. And, um, knowing that you're working with a company that's out there doing so much good. I think that's really, really important. We're like in a global situation here. And oh, thanks, Sarah. Goodness. Yeah, Andrea, I feel you. I totally feel you. Okay, so let me see here. I'm just going to put this link in again myself. And I will put it in the description as well. But if you click that link that I just put there, if you're brand new to Do now my current customers, you can I know there's some of you watching, you can just go check it out and add it to your next uh, wellness box. But um, if you're brand new, just check it out. It's custom based on everything we talked about this evening. And um, thank you, thank you, Jean. Um, if it's all right for you, pull the trigger on all of it. If it's not, delete a few things. Do what's right for you. Absolutely. You'll get a goodie package from me no matter what. So, <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put this link in the description. If you would like to email me your email address, I can send you further education. My email is Angela at Parisian Farm Girl. Look up on the YouTube, ParisianFarmGirl.com. My Zoom people are already registered. You're automatically getting that information. Thank you. Okay. Aiden, did you just repost a link? Alrighty. Thank you so much, guys. Where'd you go to get info on getting involved with the doTERRA company? Um, Joanne, if you're wanting to share oils with friends and families and in a business situation, you can come to me for that. So um, reach out to me, Angela at ParisianFarmGirl.com. And I will help you because that's what I do these days. I've been at this for five years, so that's kind of my specialty is um, to help people launch their own doTERRA business. Yasin, yes, if you want to ask or if you're, you're, we're live. Yeah, you can ask me by email for sure. Absolutely. I'm happy to help. People do that all the time. So I just posted my email address and you can do that. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry. Zoom, you guys are the most patient people in the world and what a riot the first seven minutes of this stream. I wish I could edit it, but, um, but that was great. I, I hope that you feel, uh, supported and that I hope you learned something. Hypothyroid. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's actually what got me introduced to doTERRA. I was trying to say that, um, I had a nasty bout, they called it postpartum hypothyroid, but I had stuff on my throat it had ultrasounds and um that's one of the two ways I got my results with doTERRA that I just thought like well my goodness <laughs> if people can feel better then I'm going to help them thank you so much Patty Patty is my life on lemon lane life on lemon lane check out her channel okay guys um I'll put my email address again thanks thanks Linda even with all the AngelaPresionFarmGirl.com and don't forget I'm going to send you three roller balls. It's like a $50 value. If you want to try this 
this package here. I just put the link there. That's the doTERRA.me link is a custom cart for this. So check it out, see what works for you. And um, you'll get continuing educational support from me because that's my thing. I want you guys to feel fabulous and educated. Okay, I'm out. I'm going to take off my spackle and go read a good book. All right, you guys have a an excellent evening. Thank you so much for following. Did you see we hit 10,000 subs? That's crazy. That means on a total off topic, that means this Sunday, I think this Sunday, we're going to post an all outtakes video for fun. So Aiden, can I get a goodie bag from the basement? <laughs> all right.